Hello, and welcome to the Material Profile tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to make custom material profiles for different wire alloys and diameters. This tutorial is tailored for the DIYer Pro with the calibration plate, but a standalone protractor can be used as a substitute with the DIYer Plus. Start by powering on the machine and opening the software. Navigate to the Material Profile mode and press New to begin. Here we see a few fields where we will define our material profile. For material profile name, enter something that gives a general overview of the material, such as wire diameter, alloy, hardness, and color. For material alloy, enter the specific composition or alloy of your material. For material diameter, enter the diameter of your wire in millimeters. For bend head and feed wheels, select the items that match the material you're just about to calibrate. For bend velocity, enter a number between 100 and 10,000. This number represents the max speed the A-axis will move in degrees per minute. Generally, softer, thinner wire can be bent at faster speeds, and thicker, harder wire needs to be bent at a slower speed. For feed velocity, you will also enter a number between 100 and 10,000. This number represents the max speed the X-axis will move in millimeters per minute. Generally, this could always be set to the max speed of 10,000, regardless of the material, but you may want to slow this down if you find your wire is slipping in the feed or the X-motor is stalling. Enter a creator name and display color and you're done with the required fields. Optional fields include date, any notes you'd like to mention about the profile, and the feed clamp torque used when making the profile. It's wise to find a proper clamp torque for your particular wire as it could have a large effect on the accuracy of your profile. Find more information about this at PencilLabs.com. You're now ready to hit begin and start the calibration. The first thing you'll want to do is home the machine. After the homing sequence is complete, load your wire all the way up to the cutting slot and tighten the feed to your desired clamp torque. More often than not, this first bend won't even touch the wire. That's alright. Enter zero, then hit enter to move to the next field. Hit bend to start the process over again. At this point, you should have a distinct bend in the wire. Cut out the slot and take the bent wire to the calibration plate. Before measuring, you'll want to zero the protractor of the calibration plate. To do this, power on the protractor and align the top edge of the protractor to the top edge of the fence on the calibration plate. Use the protractor bar to ensure these two edges are perfectly collinear. Once this is done, press zero on the protractor. You are now ready to measure. With the interior angle facing up, place one edge of the wire against the fence, then move the protractor so it's parallel with the other end of the wire. The number displayed on the protractor is the angle of the bend and can be recorded in the software. Hit enter to move on to the next field. Repeat this process for the rest of the fields until you're done with all three data sets. Once you've entered the angle into the last field of data set 3, you could hit save and exit to complete the material profile. If you find that your material profile is not acting as expected, you could always go back and redo parts of the data sets or change the bend and feed velocities. Your material profile should now be selectable in both path mode and script mode, and is ready for bending.